Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Mommy Bechu here. So today we are boiling corn on a cob. So I'm going to start by removing the, the, the husk from the corn. Please make sure you use fresh corn for this recipe. As you can see how fresh my corn is. It's just um, direct from the farm. After doing that, after removing the husk from the fresh corn, make sure you wash your corn to remove any kind of dirt and remove this, the remaining silk-like um, tassels from the corn. So now I'm washing it. The essence of washing the corn is not like it's dirty or anything, but you wash and supervise it. By washing it, you remove the remaining corn silk hanging on the corn and you check for caterpillar, all these little bugs that might have entered the corn. This is where you make your final supervision before you boil your corn. Before you start washing it, put a pot of water on the gas or the stove to boil. You make sure it boils when it start boiling reduce the heat put it in medium heat then you put the corn as soon as you are done placing in the corn into the pot of boiling water then you increase the heat I'm going to allow this corn cook for 3 minutes, then I'll use my foil, pepper and cover the pot. I'm going to use um, pear and coconut to eat this corn. Pear has, is a, I don't know if it's there, but in my side we call it ube. We use it to eat our corn. It gives this your corn this buttery taste. It tastes so good. It's been three minutes, so I'm going to cover the corn with this used foil pepper to produce heat and the corn will cook immediately. I'm going to leave it there for five to seven minutes until the corn becomes soft. Now I'm going to break my coconut. After breaking the coconut, release the flesh of the coconut using a knife, then dispose the coconut shell. I'm going to show you how to bring out the, shell, the coconut flesh out from the, sh the shell now. After breaking it, wash it before removing the flesh of the coconut from the shell and wash it after so that it can be clean to avoid unnecessary germs. After removing the flesh or the meat of the coconut, you wash it, make sure it's thoroughly clean. This is how we prepare the ube. You can either roast it or you, 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 you make it um, in the hot boiled water. After pouring it, I'm going to cover it with something clean, a cover to retain the heat. Let's check the corn. It's about 15 minutes. I think because I kind of left it and ran some errand so it's ready look at how the color is it's definitely ready but I have to check it's very very hot The corn is ready, it's very soft. Let's take it out. The corn is very, very ready. Now I'm going to make provision for the salt. You have to make salt water. Don't add salt in your corn while cooking it. It makes the, the corn to become tough. It, it now takes time to cook. Add salt to a basin or small bowl of water. 
mix it and that is where you put your corn into so that your corn can have salt some for some people some people don't really care whether there is salt in their corn, corn or not but we i do i like corn um salt in my corn so make provision for that some people don't understand why i said no salt in the corn until you cook you don't you are done cooking when you add salt to your uncooked corn the corn becomes tough now let me serve myself let me show you how my pear looks look at my ube my pear it's now soft it has this butter like texture inside i'm going to use it to eat this corn you can use coconut you can use pear you can use even butter to eat your corn, it depends. But for me, I don't find it healthy, so I don't even indulge in that. So thank you for watching my video. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye.